Hey, what guys, what's going on? It's Mario with Beyond Fitness. I know I'm making a two video a day right now. Um, I, if you don't mind the, the shitty webcam quality, please let me know. I personally enjoy it because I don't have to record with my camera, and then I don't got to fucking upload it on my computer, then I don't got to fucking wait for it to render, and it's like a two-hour, three-hour process. When I realize I'd rather just knock it out on the fucking, you know, computer like this, it's so much easier for me. But um, I was going to say, this shoe I've had for a while, it is the New Balance Minimus. I forgot the actual name, but I have the link on my computer, which I can link in the description box below. And I've had this shoe now for almost a year, I think. Fuck, it's been so long. I remember I got a picture, or I got this back in the summer, and I uploaded a picture on the Beyond Fitness uh, page. And at first, I was very questionable about the shoe, because I was like, dude, I just dropped like a fucking a bill, you know, a buck twenty-five on these things. Like, they better fucking, you know, wipe my ass, or I better run like fucking, you know, Bolt from Jamaica or some shit. But um, I've come to like these shoes. And I say that simply because this thing... When you put it on, it's just, it's like putting on a slipper. It's its literally like putting on a slipper, and I'm going to be honest, this base is entirely flat, so the only thing I ideally wear these on are my upper days, and then I wear this on my, my deadlift day. And of course, I have my Rome Maleos in the back, which I absolutely love, and I treat better than my girlfriend, to be honest with you, but she doesn't know that. But, uh... These shoes are ideal just simply for the gym, all around working out, and all around deadlifting. I've already worn that little stick or whatever it's had inside. However, I'm going to say the cons of this shoe are two. A, this material that's on top, if you guys can maybe see it, it's so fucking thin. So let's say, for example, right, let's say this was like a concrete slab, and you're walking, right, you're walking, and then you fucking rub against it. You better be careful because I on my other shoe there's like a little bit of damage on the side right here where you can see it's it's slightly like torn on the verge of possibly ripping so I'm gonna say the material on top right here it's so flimsy and thin that it could just possibly fucking tear on you and that sucks because if you're dropping like a buck twenty five on a pair of shoes you want to make sure these fuckers can last you right so. Otherwise, I have no complaints other than this material outside is very thin, but of course they wanted to make a minimus shoe, so they needed to go as thin as possible with whatever fabric they were using. And B, just the price range. Um, I feel like if you're going to drop a hundred bucks on a shoe, like that thing fucking, it better, you know, it better do its damn job. But um, that's really it. Um, is the shoe worth it? Is it worth it, in my opinion? If you have the money, yes. If you have the money, why the fuck not? But um, I actually had a gift card. I can tell you a really quick story of what happened, actually. I had a pair of the original Minimus, like the ones with the fucking like, weird colors on the bottom right here. It was not this design at all. And basically, I had the shoe for a week, not even a week, and it started to fucking tear right here where I kind of told you. It was like starting to rip right here, like right in that borderline right there. And I actually had returned it, and they said, well, you know, sorry, we don't, retake, we don't take returns. And I was like, wait. I just bought the shoe, like, fucking four days ago. How are you not going to accept it? Like, it was only four days I had the shoe, and it started to tear on me. And then basically, after a few arguments with customer service, they um, they reconciled, and they just said, you know what, how about this? We'll give you a gift card for whatever shoes you want to get. So out of pocket, I only paid, like, maybe, fuck, I'd say, like, 50 bucks for this. So in my opinion, yeah, it was worth it. But in all essence, it was still, like, 100 bucks, which kind of pissed me off because they had discontinued the shoe I had wanted a replacement for right when that happened, and they only said, well, sorry, this is the only option, which means you have to pay 50 bucks more, so I was like, you, you little con sons of bitches, you know, <laughs> but um, that's it, I like the shoe, if you guys like it, and you have the money for it, and you want to dish it out, be my guest, otherwise, my second option would be going for some Converse, or something flat-footed, where you're not going to drop fucking, you know, a bill for, that's it, um, thank you guys, enjoy the video, Stay safe.